In this video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade the hard drive in your PlayStation 4. This works for all PlayStation 4 models. A PS4 Slim was used for this video. You will need a PS4 with a controller and USB cable, your replacement hard drive or SSD, a PC with an internet connection, a small size Phillips screwdriver, and a USB flash drive. First, go to PlayStation.com, I'll have a link in the description. Scroll down to PS4 console reinstallation file, download it, it'll be about 1GB in size, go to your flash drive, make a folder called PS4, inside that folder, make a folder called update, and place the PS4 update file inside that folder. After that, you can eject your flash drive. At this point, you can go to your PS4 and remove the cover for the hard drive. After removing the cover, you will see a screw that you will need to unscrew in order to pull out the hard drive. Once the hard drive is pulled out, there are two screws on each side, all Phillips. They will need to be unscrewed for the hard drive to be removed from the tray. Once the drive is removed, grab your new drive, or SSD, place it into the tray the same way as the old hard drive was, with the connectors facing the same way, screw them in, then you can slide the tray back in. Make sure to screw this screw back in and then place the hard drive cover back on. Grab your flash drive you place the PS4's operating system on, plug it into your PS4, and then you can plug your PS4 into your TV and to power, then go ahead and turn it on. You'll get this screen when you turn it on. Connect your controller with the USB cable, then press the PS button. Scroll over, press OK. This will require some waiting. At this screen, press Yes. Your new drive will begin initializing, and your system will update. It'll show this screen again, connect the controller, press OK. There are a lot of long loading bars and your console will restart a few times. I did end up speeding up this footage for the purpose of making this video shorter. This is the last loading bar you'll encounter before your console will restart. Once your console gets to this screen, you can go ahead and set it up, and that's pretty much it. You can also go into settings and restore the backup that you have made earlier, which is what I did here. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.